I'm in the Santa Barbara area at a hardware store. And I need a couple of items. Okay, what are you looking for? We are building a haunted house in Santa Barbara. Okay. We've already procured all the necessary materials for the outside. We've got the cobwebs. We've got the spooky signs. Uh -huh. The inside is what I need built. I want people to walk through the door of our haunted house and come face to face with a wall. And about yay high, hip height, you could even say groin height, uh -huh. I want there to be a single circle right there in the wall. Well, how big of a hole would you like to make? I actually can tell you exactly. I need to be able to push through this hole. A nine inch cock with balls. <laughs> well, I don't know the diameter of that, but I'll show you. Um... It looks to be about 5.75 inches, Dennis. How's it going, gentlemen? Would you concur with that? What's that? Would you concur with my assessment that this is about 5.75 inches? It doesn't matter to me how, what, how many inches. You're not a size king is what you're saying. What I'm saying is I'm not interested in it. How do you need to go? You can leave the store with that. That's, that's offensive to us. Well, Dennis, you, you chuckled at it, though. You had a good yeah, chuckle. It's funny, but leave the store, please. No, no need to put hands on me. I just, I, I just want you to leave. I tried to help you, and you pulled that on me. So well, just get out of my store. The haunted house still needs to get built here. All right, well, go build it. You. This is one of those things kind of where... perverted, and I don't want my, my customers to see it. Well, I want my customers at the haunted house to be good and freaked out. Okay, go freak them out. So our business interests are colliding here. Go freak here. them out. out I will. Of my store, though. I will. Go freak them out. I will freak them out, Dennis. This might be tough to get a hardware store that's on board of this. They're very conservative types. Gentlemen, we're putting together a haunted house. Inside the haunted house, we're going to build a glory hole. Okay. You guys know what a glory hole is? Clearly you do. <laughs> Hopefully you just know about one in theory and you haven't had any experiences. Keontae, after this, can you come help me? No. Uh, Keontae. Keontae. This is insulation, right? Yeah, man. This shit I'll causes cancer. I, I don't want you working with this for too long. Amen. The glory hole might cause AIDS, but you're not going to be wrapped up in the glory hole. All right, let's get the plywood. I think this will work. What's your name, man? Arnold. Keontae and Christian are helping me build a glory hole. Oh, yeah? yeah. Would you mind uh, bringing the boys, helping me out with the drill bits? This is the last thing I need. It'll be quick. Let's do it. Can't go wrong with it. That doesn't look thick enough. It's about. Did you take a good look at that thing? Yeah, that's about. It was enormous. <laughs> it was the King Kong of cocks. <laughs> this will accommodate me or you. Again, it will not accommodate my Damn dildo. Fuck, or Keontae. That's better. This is better. <laughs> right this way, sir. Oh, okay. Hey, Carlos. Yeah. Catch. <laughs> You're a dick. That shit and what I just gave you right now, they go together and I'll put that shit on your drill and boom. They go together like... Yeah, like a dick in vagina. Or a truck driver's mouth. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get any hey, vagina. Keontae, come help with the glory hole, dude. Quit getting distracted. I'm gonna have to amend this. I'm not sure what exactly he did other than laugh a lot. But the number one employee at Lowe's this month in sales support is Keontae. Lumber, costs just keep going up. That, that dang Biden. I would love to hear it, sir. Nobody's listening. What a pain in the ass that Joe Biden is. Making it hard for an honest man to build a haunted house with a cock hole in it. What's up, girls? Little haunted house here. Yeah. Uh, come by if you want to get scared. What time? Five minutes. Okay. Those girls are not coming in the store. <laughs> I'm going to say it right now. Leo's taking enough heat on that front. I think we're ready, dude. Leo, put on the charm. Come in our haunted house real quick. 
We gotta get business, man. I got you. I'm looking for the right guy. Leah, we could have a chick in here. You're an asshole, no. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, miss? No, 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 She looks very, like she would really be upset about that, Nico. That woman hasn't seen a dick since 2004. Stop right waving the penis. Dude, why are you waving the penis? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Stop, that's not fuck you, dude. This is tough enough. My friend, you want to take a peek at the haunted house? Yeah. All right, perfect. Let's do it. Uh, we have a very good uh, experienced character act. He's putting on a self show. So yeah, if you just go this way where the cameraman is. It's not gonna take too long, right? No, nah, no, nah, it's one minute, literally one minute. And then just right. walk in right there. <laughs> that was good. One. That was good. One. You like that, dude? That good. You like that? <laughs> Hey, that's five bucks, dude. You gotta pay us. I didn't pay for that. <laughs> Come check it out, my man. Ah, oh, damn it! This one, this guy goes. I'm tripping on psychedelics. Hey, Leo, go get that guy. Are you on shrooms? You gotta come check it out. Yeah, bring your girl. Bring your girl. It'll be hilarious. It's just a performer in there. What do I do? <laughs> so, so, he needs help. He needs help. That's huge. Bro, he needs help. <laughs> he needs help. He needs help. <laughs> you guys have fun. What? Come here. Give him his eyelid. What's the fucking line, dude? You're gonna be here, not even in costume, hardly. Hair down, reality television mode. Oh, and no. when they come in, you're just gonna have a glass of wine and be like, Leo. I can't do this, dude. No, dude, are you serious? How about, how about I'm, how about this, how about this, how about this? No, everybody likes my idea. I'm over here doing the wine and dine reality show guy, but I have Dino as like my apprentice. No. And he does it. Or my bartender, maybe. No. He's pouring me the glass of wine, no. he hands it over, then puts his dick. You're trying to pass this off as a creative idea, but really you're just shucking off the responsibility on your younger. All right, it has to be a guy though. I can't do it to a girl. I can't do that to a girl. Excuse me, miss? No. We're big YouTubers. We've got a haunted house set up here. We're giving back to the community. It's totally free. I uh, wish you the best of luck. Excuse me, miss. No. This is our haunted house. Uh -huh. We're actually trying to help right now the Honduran refugees that are bottlenecked at the border. It's a really dark, heart-wrenching situation. <sighs> Parents are literally being plucked away from their children. And those children, in some cases, are being summarily executed. What we're doing here, though, should help to stop it. You wanna step in? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, how are you? How's, your, how's your day going, first Pretty of all? Pretty good. I'm Leo from The Bachelorette. You might recognize me from my reality show days. I've fallen on hard times, and um, you know, I'm, I'm here to just tell you that I'm an alcoholic. And um, I'm recovering, but today, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. I don't think you should do it either, you son of a bitch. I can't. He can't do it. He can't do it. No. No. And then, see, it was, and then it was going to be a peanut, a fake, you know, and I wasn't, I couldn't do that to you. He's a sick bastard, so. Seen a few of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen a few of those. She's seen a few of those, she said. Oh, wow. What do you do? I work at the hospital. Oh, wow. You are magnificently... Uh, centered human being. Well, she's seen death. Nothing can shock her. No, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. This was almost like a growing uh, kind of thing for me. I, I grew from this. You're still in bachelorette mode. Shut up, you big oaf. All right, fucker. You're I doing it the next. Yes, yes you are. Not do it. Yes. yes. Yeah, fuck I can't you. Do it too. Danny, hold on. I'm so I fucking pissed off at you. Let's, let's hear it, Nico. Let's, let's hear it. It's a one fucking bit. I would have done this goddamn no, bit. You you do it. After you do your job, right. sir. This is a haunted house. You should check it out. Our organization is to help Siamese cats. Let's get right here and take a peek. Here we go. How you doing, Bob? Can you see? Can you see? Hey, buddy, how are you? There you go. There it is, huh? Somebody, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was it. That was what we were supposed to do. Well, you gotta stay in character. You have to tell us your penis. I thought, uh, you guys were giving away three phones, right? No, I wish we were. If by phone you meant tug job, we're giving away those for free. I sent you a guy in a wheelchair. You gotta stay in character. It's remarkable. I thought we were gonna get broken up by the police in like 15 minutes, so this is nice. Sir, haunted house! It benefits the homeless children! We're helping lobotomized monkeys. 
It's a very unique cause. What if I told you there was absolutely nothing in it for you? <laughs> I thought sweeten the deal a little bit. Have you come around? I don't know about it's, that. It's a great haunted house. 15 okay. seconds, that's it. I'm just confused. <laughs> well, an alumni of The Bachelorette season 14 is in here and he's meeting lucky women in the streets of Santa Barbara. That's what this is? Yeah. Look at him, look how handsome he is. I'm so confused. You're creeped out about going into a cobweb covered easy up with yes. a... A man? I, uh, I'm not random. You could Google me. Leo Tavia, don't go to page two. Stay on page one. Who are you kidding? It's on page one, you fucking liar. Not anymore. Bachelor's Leo Tavio canceled for vile rant about fat women. Bachelorette contestant Leo Tavio accused of harassment. I think he's now in there, on right? Yeah, he's in there. Oh, so you want me to go in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But he denied the sexual harassment accusations. Okay, good. Um, yes. What's he doing here, though? Uh, it probably has something to do with sexual harassment. Amazing. Okay, well, I'm gonna go, I think. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm surprised, but yeah, yeah no problem. There's no okay. sexual harassment in here. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was definitely on the first page, you oaf. Dino, Austin, Leo, Nico, we're in Santa Barbara. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. We're not in your hillbilly neck of Calabasas anymore. Yeah, you guys are, get, you know, getting out, socializing, maybe talking to females today in person. It's very possible. At a party that you didn't meet online that aren't into anime. Mm, oh, wow. These guys might have a heart attack if they run into one of those women. You're right. We're in Santa Barbara. This is a legendary Halloween destination. So we already met a fan today. He said that it's been cracked down upon by the authorities. Yeah. We're gonna have to get creative to find the parties, but we can find the parties. And you two better get laid. And you, Nico, better get shit-faced. Big swig, big swig, big swig. Neeks, Neeks! His name is Neeks. He has a vodka stash. He keeps it in the trash. Uh, tickets to this festival are $100 per person, cash only. Yeah. I enjoy you guys, I don't enjoy you that much. So I say in full costume right now, mm -hmm. and everybody agrees, we try to infiltrate the festival Illicitly. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be some 35 year olds sneaking into this bad boy. We're not all 35, Leo. Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> we got that? <laughs> How dumb are you? You don't even have a mask on. We definitely have a security guy. We have a security guy to my 2.30 o'clock. We can definitely get in. It's gonna be a suicide run. Is everybody okay with the idea of maybe getting arrested if this doesn't work out? I might need to hide the two ounces of weed in my pocket. Maybe put those in that bush. Yeah. Danny! Yeah, Why is hey, he yelling? Opening an offense. Shh! Shh! Hey. Keep filming, keep filming openly, Nico. Yeah, we're just getting high, man. Yeah. Wait, what's going on? You, well, you just blew our cover and the security just found us. What, how, who, who saw me? How loud Nobody, you, you, can, you realize when you yell somebody's name in the pitch black really loud, people hear it. What do you mean? There was a guy, there was a guy standing right there? He came right over and talked to us, yeah. Okay, well there's an, just an opening in the gate over well, that way. You're leading the way. You sold out our position, you gotta pay for that. Listen, Listen we're gonna walk in, we're gonna walk in like we own the place, buddy. Alright, well you're going first is all I'm saying. Come on, this way, come, wait, follow, wait, wait, wait. come. We gotta walk with a lot of Let's swagger. Let's just walk with a lot of swagger. A yeah, lot like, of like, swagger. Like, black. like we have to be really black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoulders down, chest up, chin high. Just keep walking, don't even look to the right, motherfuckers. Nobody even look to the right. Nobody even look to the right, you understand me? We're going around like a couple pimps. We just swagged out, motherfucker. I do a couple of these, man. We just a couple of TikTok nut motherfuckers. Has anybody seen Sam? Sam Greenberg? A little background for you here. Sam Greenberg is a stand-up comic turned DJ who's actually appeared in our videos before. And this Halloween Eve night, he invited me to the festival. He made it sound like he was Mr. Big Dick Performer. You're gonna find out what he was actually doing. But for now, I'll just say that not only did we name drop him, we decided to say that our 19-year-old podcast assistant, Dino, was Sam Greenberg and was headlining the festival. Hold up. Hey. We 
worked with Sam, one of the DJs. He thought you were adorable. He wanted to know if you wanted to get backstage. Come over the side. Come over. Hop it. Hop it. Get with your friend. Hop it. Work on your outfit. You'll be eligible next time too. Cut Girls, the call off your head. Yeah. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to cause a frenzy, but this is Sam. Yeah. Hi Sam. There he is. <laughs> He's actually headlining the set tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. all right, excellent. <laughs> He thought you girls were just adorable. The space thing. Are you Buzz Lightyear? I am. I love that. Sexy Buzz Lightyear. Are you a cowboy? I'm a cowgirl. A sexy cowgirl? What are you? What are you, Sam? I'm everything you fear. Oh, God. That's not okay, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? Is that tape? It's, yeah, it's tape. It's tape. It's tape. It's tape. It's tape. He's, he's an analog kind of guy. This is actually running on tape, old school style. And what he mixes up there, it's all vinyl. Excellent. No digital. Nothing. Yeah. Loves tape. Loves tape. What was your name? Monse. Monse. Yeah. It's so exotic. Sam probably wants to date you just so he can say your name a lot. That's music. Say her name. Say her name, buddy. Say it. Monse. Yes, you got it right. Would you say he's kind of your, like your type in a way? Like would you say? Um, you know, yeah, I think he might be. He wanted to kiss, you know, our boy well, here. Well, no, hold up. I, we just COVID. Met, you know. Do you know how much he's getting paid for this set? Uh, that doesn't matter. That's okay. This guy is going to pocket 115000 in cool cash That's after bad. he spins tonight. Wow. And you know he's got a bad habit of spending his money on the ladies. How you doing? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Where would you take these beautiful ladies? <laughs> Yeah, I take him like Motel Six and yeah. fucking lay it down. <laughs> what the fuck? He's got a great sense of humor. I love it. He's staying okay. at the Ritz. He's staying at the Ritz. Girls, I'm sorry to tell you, this, we're Sam's trim coordinators. He, he grows impatient. We might have to go fish for more women who will make out with him. I mean, you might. Go find somebody else. Come back there and hang out. Yeah. Come back there. Can we carry you over? Get her legs. Get her legs. Get her legs. So girls, girls, we got a little back. It's a sob story, if you will. The headlining DJ tonight, his name is Sam Greenberg. Yeah. His father passed away in a tragic train accident. Sam's a little bit of a shut-in when it comes to the women, so we're trying to help him out in that regard. Where's Sam? He's right over here. He's the guy with the tutu type thing there. Sam! Yeah! Hi, Sam. I'm Casey. He's cute, huh, Casey? Thank you. Super Thank you. cute. The girls are all single? That's crazy. Yes. I'm the most single. Really? <laughs> if you would kiss Sam, it would change his life. It would be unbelievable. I want Sam to know it's got to be consensual. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, is it okay if this beautiful woman kisses you? Oh, sure. God. Sure. Sam! Yeah! <laughs> Sam, 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 Sam! Yes! Hey, like the video, right? Fucking like the video, subscribe. Dude, I can't fucking hear you. Hey, oh, he sneaks the fuck out. You yeah. see that? Okay, there's like a VIP in the festival. Yeah. That's not really the VIP lounge, is it, Leo? No, of course not. Where's the real VIP lounge? Oh, I'd say the stage. Uh -huh. Should we just try to take the stage? I think so. <laughs> What's up? You said you were Sam Greenberg. Sam! Sam Greenberg. Where's Where, where Sam's right at? there. Yeah. Sam's right here. Oh, hi, Sam. That's, That's Sam, dude. I'm the real Greenberg just left. Oh. I was DJing with him at the Sound Disco. Wait, where were you guys DJing? <laughs> you guys were DJing in a parking lot with no music. Oh. It's all in the head. We just name dropped Sam Greenberg yeah. to get on the stage. We and we were on stage. <laughs> we got on stage. Yo, that's hella funny. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Something's really being eaten away at me, Leo. No, you're you're a man that he, you do the right thing, and today you do the wrong thing. It hurts so much when you say it, because I respect you so much. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Dude, you did the wrong thing. Not only that, I think you should apologize to the guy. Excuse me, sir. Can I tell you something real quick? Uh, first of all, I gotta say, do you read any Edgar Allan Poe? Uh, I have. You know that story, The Telltale Hearts, where the one guy kills the other guy, and then he buries the other guy, and the other guy's heart starts beating? Oh, boom, yeah. boom, 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 through the floorboards? It was a guilt. The story is about guilt, and the consequences of not clearing your conscience. Oh. We were huddled up over there like raccoons raiding a dumpster, and a security guard came by with his flashlight and said, hey, can I help you gentlemen? And I said, just getting high, sir. It wasn't true though. Oh, okay. It we, wasn't true. We actually went around back through the field, told everybody with the security team we knew the DJ, got on stage. We got on stage. And we got one of these guys to make out with, I think the hottest girl at the event. But we did all that and we want to let you know. How do you feel about that, sir? That's a good story. <laughs> I love it. Well, this guy's great. As dude. long as you forgive us, I can forgive myself. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Appreciate that. May God be yes. May God be with you. Did anyone find a, a big jar of weed? Are you serious? <laughs> it's gone, dude. There's no way somebody went all the way over there to get your weed, dude. It, it probably dude, rolled down the, the hill. The pipe was still there, but the, the weed was. Gone.